ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Because of the Kendrick Lamar uh, beef with Drake, which I know this is why it started it. Spotify has now decided to quietly move their lyrics behind a paywall. Let me share this with you guys. I talked about this on Instagram yesterday. So this is what's trending now. Spotify quietly moves lyrics behind paywall, okay? Because remember, when the whole Kendrick Lamar Drake situation thing was happening, Everybody was going to all these lyrical sites, trying to break stuff down. You know what I mean? These new kids don't really do it old school like how we used to. We'd have to listen, pause, write. Listen, pause, write. That's how we got lyrics to a song, right? Because repetition is the father of learning. So, you know, in this day and age, it you can just click on your Apple. Um, if you have Apple Music, you can click. There's like a little button you can click and it'll show the lyrics of the song. Same with Spotify. But now Spotify is putting them behind a paywall. So if you want to know the lyrics to your favorite song that you're listening to, it's going to cost. Okay? So it's, it's getting crazy out here. And I can see the other sites following suit. I can see Apple following suit. I can see Genius following suit. You know, um, now this is what's going on with Instagram. We talked about this yesterday. So... Put a teacup if you guys remember me saying years ago that eventually social media is going to be, you're going to have to pay to get onto social media. I said this over three years ago. I said everything from Instagram to Twitter, all that stuff, they're going to start charging because they have people hooked. So even if people are like, oh, I would never pay for Twitter, there's a segment of the population who will and who are paying for Twitter. Well, now that's starting to come down the pipeline. Thank you for the teacups. I'm glad I remember. Because people thought I was reaching and I was crazy. Everything is going towards subscription-based, and a lot of these websites are charging. I mean, think about how many times you'll go to go read an article from the New York Times, and they're like, oh, they'll give you this much article. It's like, in order to read more, you need to pay $5. It's like, when I tell you I am subscriptioned out, and I pay for a lot of these news websites because it's like, I want to read the rest of the article. I want to support the writer. Cool. But it's like, damn, everybody has a paywall. I mean, even the most obscure website, www, I'm just making news stories .com. Who are you a, 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 a tried and tested journalist? Whose writing is this? And why, why are you behind a paywall? We don't even know if this is real news or real tea. You know, it's like everybody's behind a paywall now. So again, the internet, the money's not money in. And advertisers are pulling out. They're tired of the celebrities and the influencers who have scammed them because a lot of these advertisers thought that, oh, because somebody has 4 million followers, that equates all these people. They're going to run and go buy our stuff. And they found out the hard way. A lot of them followers are bots and most people are not going to buy it. We used to buy stuff from influencers initially because we assumed that these were real products that they were using. But then after the whole scam that, that Kylie... Ken, or was it just, I think it was Kendall Jenner, the Fire Fest debacle. Remember, it was all the top models. I think it was Kendall, Emily Ratatoski, Haley Bieber. Um, it was all the flyest people. And they made it seem like, you know, this is what's going on and come join us. Nobody realized that that Fire Festival um, ad was really an ad. They thought that they were going to go there and they were going to, you know, swim the seas. <laughs> with these models and, you know, eat a ham sandwich, you know, with Kylie you, you, or, or Kendall, whoever was there, whichever Jenner sister was there. So after that happened and all these rich kids lost their money and it turned into the Hunger Games on that island and they were being fed, fed cheese sandwiches, the um, FCC had to step in and make it a national law that you must disclose that you're being paid and that what you're pushing is an ad. So that is why now you see influencers, they're supposed to, some still don't, but that is why now you see them putting hashtag ad, but they try and put it like way down at the bottom of their, you know, of what they're typing. 
um, they try and make it really, really minuscule. So people would think that, oh, they're really loving this L'Oreal product, knowing that L'Oreal gave it to them and is paying them to promote it. So because of that, a lot of advertisers are not advertising as much. I know I talked to one of my celebrity friends and they basically told me the same thing. They're not even getting offers that they were once getting to promote, you know, it's just not there. The industry is really going through it. So not just regular folks, but also these celebs. So that's why now they're like hawking everything. Um, so this is what's going on now with Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna play this and watch this. This just broke yesterday. So let me share this here. Okay, this might be the biggest Instagram news yet. I had to pull over for this. With this change, pretty soon you're gonna have to pay if you want more views or more followers. Soon they're going to be testing a new tiered option for Meta Verified where you can pay different monthly fees and the more you pay, the better results you're gonna get. This is freaking nuts. For $15 a month, you're still gonna get the same thing that you got before, like the blue badge, impersonation protection, and chat support. Tier number two is that for $45 a month, you're gonna get improved support and you're gonna be able to add links to two reels per month. You're also going to become a quote unquote featured account. The third tier is $120 per month and includes four links in your reels and some more additional benefits. And the top tier is $350 per month and it includes eight links in your reels and an annual profile review. It also says that the top tier is the quote unquote most featured. Now currently this is just something that they're testing so please help spread this post so we can spread the news and make sure that this test never becomes a reality. Okay this might be the Well I'm sorry to scare you but it's about to be a reality. The fact that they and I can I can understand charging because it's like okay fine we've been you know you guys have been on this platform and you know we want money but the fact that they're like the the super duper deluxe package is $350 a month. That is insane. So now there's no such thing as going viral. There's no more social media for the average person to be seen like me and so many other people. You know what I'm saying? They're making it now that if somebody is placed in front of you, it's because they paid for it. But what if the average person who should be placed in front of you is more talented? or more genuine or knows, you know, whatever craft that they're trying to show you, they're not gonna be showed freely and fairly because they don't have the money to pay 350 a month. Because the higher the tier, the more they're, they'll feature you. So we are definitely going down a slippery slope, but I have been talking about this for years now. And now it's starting to manifest. 350 a month, that is insane. That is, an electric bill, water bill, heat, cooling. I couldn't imagine paying three fifty a month for Instagram. Well, me and Instagram been beefing since you know what I'm saying for the past few years, so they can't get a dime out of me. That blue check mark, that's mine. I would never give them a dime. As much as they've censored me on that platform, hell no. So, and then I'm also hearing that the same thing is going on with Snapchat as well. They're starting to charge that same thing to get exposure, to be seen. You know, for now, TikTok is free um, because they're struggling to see if they're even going to be here, you know, in a few months. But that's really, that's really sad. I think it's sad and it's scary. It sets a precedence because now whatever's on your feed it's not there because by happenstance or because it's genuinely good content. It's there because the person who wants it shown in front of you paid for it. It's literally online payola. And that's where we're going. So yeah, it's, it's, getting, it's getting nuts. And again, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with subscriptions or, you know, paywalls and stuff. Cause hell, I put my deep dives behind a paywall cause I know how hard I work on them. But I think I'm also fair in the pricing. It's $5 and it's been $5. I don't plan on raising the price. People be like, you should charge way more. I'm not going to, cause I don't want it to feel like a bill. You know what I'm saying? So $5, it's all it is. But it's like, yeah, you have a lot of people, a lot of influencers for their discords and things like that. They charge 25 bucks. Some of them charge 50 bucks a month and then they charge that much and they don't even be in their discord. 
They don't even meet with any of their followers. They don't do meetings. So it's just like, well, what are they paying $50 for? You're not even engaging with them in your Discord. It's weird. But, you know, to each its own. But, yeah, I think at this point it's going to be a lot of paid sites. So I think, like I've said before, we have to go back to the WWWs. We have to go back to using our websites because we've made a lot of these micro blogging sites like Instagram and um you know, things like that, we've made them rich. They got money on their platform because of people using their platform and advertisers coming. But think about it. If you get kicked off their platform today, and this goes for YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, anything that you use, if that shuts down today, how do you get a hold of your followers? If you're a Spotify, let's say you're an artist, right? You're an artist on Spotify, you're an artist on Apple Music. If they decide to shut you down, they don't like your music, you're too controversial, and they shut you down, how do your fans find you? How do you get a hold of your fans to say, hey, come over here and follow me? Remember, they have all the data. They have the emails. Yeah, I can Google uh, metaphysical life mastery, but is that going to take me to his email? Nine times out of ten, no. So that's why we have to go back to using the WWWs. We have to go back to building your own brand like we did in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. You would literally go from website to website to website. I'd go on Boss Up, Media Takeout, Freddie O, um, Concrete Loop. It was a bunch of them back then. ESPN, WWF.com, WWE, whatever. You'd go on all these different websites. And then we got conditioning to going to one place to get your news. Just go on to Facebook. Just go on to Instagram. Just go on to YouTube. But again, they have all the data. So you, you, have, to, you have to have your own websites. You have to start having an email list. Because if these social media platforms go by the wayside, you have no way to connect with anybody or reach out to them or tell them, oh, I'll, I'll be at this concert, I'm performing here, I'm performing there. So yeah, we've been really conditioned, but I've been talking about this for years. So that goes for everybody. You don't have to be like, a, yeah, TMZ is another one, correct. You don't have to be a huge influencer. You know, maybe you sell soaps, maybe you sell candles. You don't wanna just be dependent that all your fans are on Instagram. You wanna have an email list, so that way you can tell your fans outside of social media Hey, I have new scents dropping. Please check them out. So we have to go back to that old school thinking because the whole plat the whole social media landscape is about to change. It's about to change. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.